Alrighty, um, so I have a bit of a construction update for you guys. Some pretty exciting things to go over and some pretty sad things to go over. And then I'm just going to give my thoughts and opinions on a few of these um, matters and occurrences. So um, let's get it started. So one, you already know, Yukon Striker is complete. Yay. Um, two, now they're working on Frontier Canada. Um, they're working on Frontier Canada, they're working on the station, so we're going to be monitoring that. And for those of you who have been keeping up with all of our videos, watching the screen right now, you're probably already noticing a lot of the changes. So as you can see, Yukon Striker's station is starting to take form. So they're building the walls, um, they're building the staircase down into that underground portion um, that goes underneath the turnout of the station, so you can see um, and there's gonna be a super zoomed in photo for you guys to look at as well. You'll see the staircase, very wide staircase. So either they're gonna have a single rider line um, with the regular queue, because from what I'm hearing, the fast pass queue will join the main queue at some part in the line. Um, so that'll be interesting to see how they work that out and if they choose to go with the single rider line or if it's gonna be fast pass and regular queue all together. Um, nothing going on in the back lot um, stunt coaster queue line. So we know they're building some sort of structure in the queue line there. Um, again, it's probably just going to be a photo op. As you can see on the Mindbuster <laughs> side of things, the train is being assembled onto the track. So here's that super zoomed in photo. You can see the black coming out of the part of the station closest to us. So that's the entrance into the, the coaster itself. Um, so that's where you'll queue for the ride. Um, to choose if you want to ride the front, back, or middle. Um, so the staircase is there. You can see that the walls are starting to take um, shape along the outside of the station. So we should start to be able to see what this thing's going to look like very shortly. Again, uh, stations go up really quickly, the buildings and all that. So maybe even within three weeks, this station could be done if weather cooperates. Maybe four weeks because we are having bad weather all of this week. So that might be it. Um, in other sadder news, um, Soul Loco, Orbiter, whatever you want to call it, is being shipped out. So this is kind of good news, though. So um, Orbiter is not being scrapped from what we could tell. It was deassembled very carefully. It is in the shipping um, and receiving area for Yukon Striker. Um, some of it is on flatbed. Some of it has already been shipped out as well. Um, so I'm predicting either it's being shipped out to like a ride museum or another park is getting it. Who knows? Um, it was definitely probably being shipped out somewhere close because it's being shipped out uncovered and all that. So maybe it's going to a Cedar Fair Park. You know, they have that partnership with that Ohio University or that Ohio um, based company that can uh, take old rides and uh, remake them or whatever it is. I don't know too much about that. So comment down below if you have all that information. But nonetheless, super exciting um, and can't wait to see what's going on with Orbiter because it doesn't look like it's being scrapped for good. Now, I do not think it's coming back to Canada's Wonderland. I think it's going to have a future somewhere else. But yeah, nonetheless, lots going on in the station area. Frontier Canada is going to start taking form. I can see them digging ground um, in various parts near Timberwolf. Orbiter is being shipped out and the uh, building in the... Um, backlot area hasn't moved any further. Trains are on behemoth's tracks. Mindbuster trains are now on the tracks as well. Yukon Striker will probably start testing sometime in March, very similar to Leviathan. We're getting a lot of that questions, so thought I would answer that. And there seems to be a bit of work going on in the Kingswood area, kind of where that second entrance is, where they would normally house the student groups. There's a bit of weird, like, um, kind of materials building up in there. So we're going to keep an eye on that as well, if you were wondering why we had a bit of a shot there. So we're going to focus on that. There's a little bit of uh, development going on there, but nothing too exciting. Anyways, hopefully you really enjoyed this quick update on Frontier Canada, the station area for Yukon Striker, and Soul Local slash Orbiter leaving Canada's Wonderland. Here's an up-close shot of the Orbiter's um, kind of little holding area or location now gutted and nothing's in there. Anyways, hope you enjoyed this update. Don't forget to give the video a like, subscribe if you haven't, and share this video for others to enjoy. Have a good one, guys. Bye.